There was this female moon bear with her paw stretched through the bars of the cage. And I did something in retrospect which was very, very stupid. But her paw was there and it seemed the most natural thing in the world just to take it. And she didn't rip my arm from my shoulders as she had every right to do. She just rhythmically squeezed my fingers. It was a moment, as I say, I'll never, never forget. And our eyes connected. And in that moment, I, I kind of knew that I'd never see her again. More than 7,000 moon bears are held on bear farms across China. They are incarcerated for up to 20 years. Every day, they suffer the agony of bile extraction for use in traditional medicine. This is the story of how people are uniting to free these desperate animals from a life of torment. Asiatic black bears, or moon bears, as they're more commonly called because of the magnificent yellow crescent they wear on their chests, were once found throughout much of China's forested hills and mountains. Today it's estimated that there are fewer than 19,000 left in the wilds of China. They're included on the CITES list of critically endangered species. For thousands of years, moon bears were hunted and killed for their gallbladders a highly prized ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine. In an attempt to protect the wild populations, the Chinese government established a bear farm industry in the early 1980s. This was designed to produce a ready supply of bear bile. It failed to protect bears in the wild and subjected the captive bears to a living hell. Inside the farms, the bears were kept in coffin-like cages so the farmers could easily extract the bile from their abdomens. The earliest method was through a latex tube or catheter. It caused massive tissue damage. Bear bile is used to treat illnesses such as fevers, liver complaints, and sore eyes. Today, there are many different patent medicines containing bear bile. In July 2000, an extraordinary event took place. In front of an international press corps, the Chinese government agreed to free 500 suffering moon bears and release them into the care of the charity Animals Asia Foundation. Today, amidst the farmlands of Sichuan province, proudly stands Animals Asia's China Bear Rescue Center. It's home to nearly 200 moon bears living in semi-wild natural enclosures. After their rescue, the bears require months of rehabilitation to regain their physical fitness, as well as to overcome their fear and anxiety. Sadly, these bears can never be returned to the wild. They've all become dependent on humans. If released, they'd approach people in search of food and almost certainly they'd be killed or trapped and sold back to a bear farm. The rescue center is funded by supporters from around the world. Their inspiration is a driving force in animal welfare, Jill Robinson. I've loved bears ever since I was sort of yay high. Um, and it's only in the last few years that I've come to, to know them really, you know, quite well, I guess. And the more I know them, the more I love and respect them. Bears are such stoic animals, and I think this is one of the main reasons that they're used in this industry, because they can withstand so much suffering, so much torture. But for the lucky ones, the suffering is over, and more are about to join them. News was received